It makes it look so easy. Need my super strength. There we go. So if that intro that Greg just killed doesn't deserve a like on this video, I don't know what does. I am on every 16 year old Snapchat that is down there watching me right now. So please drop it a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new today, or I guess tomorrow, we are gonna be doing Henry Cavill Superman diet. You are in for a good one, my friends. guys so for Henry Cavill's diet we are going to be starting out with steak and eggs one of my favorite meals of all time I have a feeling that I'm really going to enjoy this one so we have five egg whites two yolks and probably about eight ounces of steak here if you guys are not already doing so I would highly suggest you adding pink Himalayan salt to your eggs it just changes the game so I have never seen any of the Superman movies in my entire life. I didn't even know who Justice League was until Megan informed me, so I know, I know, shame on me. But there is no denying that Henry Cavill is absolutely jacked. And when I was thinking about it, I was like, is there anyone you know that eats steak and eggs for breakfast every single day that's not jacked? I know he's also in a new show right now on Netflix called Witcher that everyone is raving about. I've not seen that either. All that I know is this dude is doing something right. So today we're gonna eat just like his diet leading up to the Superman movie, 5,000 calories of some nutritious, dense foods. Cavill? Is that right? Yeah. Cavill? Nutritional, what did I say? Nutri 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 it, nutritionally dense. Nu nutritious, dense, nutritionally dense. Sometimes I just make up words. It's early, guys. Alfie woke us up, woke Meg up at like 5 a.m. And she got up with them, and then I got up, you know, a little bit later. And now he's just a sleepy little boy. So after the steak and eggs, he moves on to an oatmeal protein shake. So the first thing he's gonna do is add anywhere from a half cup to a cup of oatmeal in this blender right here. I don't think I've ever had a protein shake with oatmeal in it, but I love oatmeal, so it does sound pretty tasty. That looks about right. And then this man is the only person I've ever seen that might drink more protein powder than I do. And I can't blame him because it's the easiest way to get protein, it's the best tasting way. And this right here, the PE Science Select Protein, this is the best in the entire world. And you all can save 15% using Travis at PEScience.com. I'm gonna be using one of my personal favorite flavors, the chocolate cupcake. So we're just gonna do one scoop, because as I said, there's gonna be plenty more where that comes from. I'm just going to add a little bit of water here. I'm not exactly sure how much. Uh, that should be good, I think. And hopefully little Alfie does not get too scared by the blender noise. I don't know, does oatmeal even blend? We are about to find out. Oh my gosh. This man is a genius. Have you guys tried this oatmeal in a protein shake? You get your carbs very easily, especially with all the food he has to eat. So here is part of the diet that I am dreading the most because up next comes some cottage cheese, which in my opinion is probably one of the worst foods in the entire world, but we're going to try to mask it up a little bit. The good part about this is with the cottage cheese, he also has 56 grams of protein powder, which is about a scoop and a half, so it should help mask this, but does anyone actually eat cottage cheese? Like, it, if anything with a curd is in your food, I'm just like, eh, I don't think so. Oh my gosh. You know, people get really mad when I don't like foods. Like, when I did the Brad Pitt diet and I didn't like the tuna, 
some like soft kids got really triggered. They're like, just suck it up. I'm like, why? Why would I suck it up? I'm gonna have to add up how many how many grams of protein this guy eats throughout a day. It's gonna be quite impressive. So then I'm gonna stir this up like so. Making the kitchen a mess and cameraman is not loving it. With the protein powder, it's not terrible. Still not a great texture. If pea science protein powder can save cottage cheese, it can save about anything. So just for time reference here, this is about an hour and a half after I ate the steak eggs and the oatmeal shake. What impresses me most about these celebrity diets is that they just, they seemingly never stop eating. Like how do you have that much time in the day to just eat and eat and eat? But I guess that's part of it. So we're gonna finish that cottage cheese. At least I'm gonna try. We've got about two cups of grapes here, which guys, I've not had grapes in years. Grapes are amazing. And then some sunflower seeds. Megan actually had these on deck. I don't know. They don't taste like much at all, but healthy fats. So they did not specify what kind of caffeine he was having before his workout, so I am going to use my best judgment here and say he was drinking some Nespresso with some Select Cafe, if I had to guess. Guys, Kevin Gates, my favorite rapper. This guy is impressive. He's so knowledgeable. He's just dropping dimes on this Everyday Struggle interview. If you guys want to check that out, if you're hip-hop fans, highly recommend it. Even if you're not, you can learn a lot from this. I know Rich Homie Greg, who's editing this video, would agree, but I just pulled up to the gym. So Henry Cav, I think it's Cavill, if I'm saying it wrong, I, I apologize. He is no stranger to the gym. I was looking through the workouts he was doing during his Superman days, and they were pretty intense. He was doing bodybuilding workouts, CrossFit workouts. So I am going to try to to channel my inner Cavill. Cavill, Cavill. I'm really not great with names, as you guys know. But either either way, I need to channel my inner Superman and really have a good workout. It's leg day, which I say for Sunday every single week. So we got to get to it. I'm working like so much. They swear I had me a clone. I can't answer my phone now. I just leave it there at that tone. Balling can't beat me up because I'm back in my zone now. That, my friends, was an amazing workout. This guy is on to something, especially with this pre-workout nutrition. We had the steak and eggs, some protein, all types of good stuff. And then to recover, he goes back to the trusted protein shake. I'm telling you, me and him, we just think the same way. So I'm gonna be having the PE Science Cake Pop. This stuff is fantastic. And he adds peanut butter, almond milk or cashew milk, and then it said maltodextrin, which is just sugar. So it's a little bit of bro science in there to have sugar in the protein to feed it to the muscles. We've kind of proven that that's not really necessary, especially in naturals now. Let the steroid comments come in. Every time I do someone's diet, people accuse them of steroids. Is he on him? I don't know. It doesn't really matter to me. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have the protein. We're gonna add a little bit of cashew milk. This right here, this is the best peanut butter on the planet. Mm, that's the best part right there. And this little guy right here, the birthday cake rice crispy treat, this is probably my favorite flavor that they have, has dextrose in it, so it's perfect, but will it blend? We're about to find out. I'm telling you, this guy is like Gordon Ramsay with protein shakes. Full transparency, this protein bar was not part of his diet. I just have to have this after every workout. So I'm gonna check if we do this. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And before we get into a proper lunch, I'm gonna be a real life Superman 
and go get Meg some lunch because believe it or not, Megan has no interest in trying Henry Cavill's diet. Can you guys believe that? So instead, we're gonna go to one of the best restaurants in the entire world, Chipotle. And what do you guys think? Do you think I should try Alfie's diet? Would that be a good video? Alfie, would you want me to share your food with me? No? Okay, no pictures, Dad. I know, I know. I gotta run it by his agent. Alfie, are you trying to steal my glasses, man? Come on. <laughs> I know they're fresh, but I need these. These are these are big boy glasses, Alf. All right, so moving into lunch, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna consolidate the next two meals for the sake of time, because unfortunately I'm not a celebrity. I can't just sit around and eat all day, but here's what we're gonna do. The next two meals are chicken and potatoes. So I'm going to make this entire pack of chicken, a little bit over a pound. He makes curry style chicken, which I don't know too much about that. So what I'm gonna be do using is pink Himalayan salt, cumin, organic garlic powder. Well, I guess all of this is organic because it's Megan's. Uh, onion powder and pepper. So we're gonna season the chicken like that. The roasted potatoes, Megan has perfected this. So I'm gonna pick her brain a little bit. But I'm essentially gonna be slicing and dicing. And this is the key right here. Avocado oil, you can't shy away from this. So we're gonna make all this up and get straight into it. Friends, this is a perfect meal if you ask me. Some of my favorite foods, roasted potatoes, chicken, and we have an apple over here. So let's see how I did with these potatoes. Money. I would say besides oatmeal, potatoes are my favorite carb source. And then the chicken, this is, again, this is the curry style chicken. He might have used like a curry sauce, but I'm not that good of a cook. Now that is some very good chicken. It's about a pound and a half, I believe so. Like tons and tons of protein. I feel like there's always a debate about which apple is the best. Typically, I would never buy a Honeycrisp apple because they're so expensive, but these were on sale this week. I don't remember the last time I've had one. I'm more of like a Gala apple guy myself. Cameraman, what kind of apples do you like? Fiji apple? I think it's Fiji. I don't know. I don't know which one you're talking about. I mean, that's pretty good. Hey, Alf, what's your favorite apple? Yeah, he's not too sure yet. So far, I'm feeling great. It's been about an hour since I ate that meal going on 4 p.m. So I'm gonna get straight into the next snack, which sounds pretty good. Although you guys know I hate Greek yogurt, but when you can mask it with even more protein powder, it turns out to be fantastic. And I'll show you how to do that. This guy is seriously the only person I think that eats more protein powder than me. He must be using Travis to say 15%. Okay, so we're gonna put roughly a cup and a half of yogurt in here, which is going to end up being, what is that? Like almost 40 grams of protein. So pretty decent. And then all we're gonna have to do is take the pea science protein powder. I love the chocolate cupcake in this because after we put this in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes it's going to come out tasting and feeling feeling texture I think that's right like chocolate mousse and it's going to be absolutely delicious although I'm getting the counter dirty once again so oh my goodness I'm just I'm a mess over here don't look don't look don't look I'm not wasting the protein So that's the consistency that you want and the reason that you need the PE Science Select protein powder is because it's sweet enough to mask the nastiness flavor of that and it's a whey casein blend, so it's going to give you this thick consistency. You could probably, just like that, that is very, very good. But be patient, put it in the refrigerator, 30 minutes, you'll be good. All right, so that should be done here in a few minutes. And before we get into that, I did want to give a huge thank you to the sponsor of today's video, which is Movement. You all know I've been working with Movement for a long time now. I absolutely love their products, their watches, their glasses. These are the blue light blocking glasses, which I wear all the time. I believe they're extremely stylish and I'm trying to block out the blue light that I'm consuming all day, every day. I was wearing the Movement sunglasses, as you saw earlier in the video. They have amazing products for outstanding 
price points, you can get their watches starting at right around $100. And I know Valentine's Day is right around the corner. Everyone is looking for gifts for their boyfriends or their girlfriends. Well, look no further. You don't have to break the bank. You don't have to waste your money on flowers. It'll cost you over $100 that someone's just gonna throw away in two days. You can buy them something that's going to last a long time. I've had this watch for about two and a half years now and it still looks perfect. And I just ordered myself a Valentine's Day gift, I guess, if you will. I ordered, ordered the Rosewood watch and the picture's on the screen right now. I can't wait for that to come in. I love the designs of the products. They look stylish. They look a lot more expensive than they actually are. And you guys can save an additional 15% and get free shipping and free returns if they happen not to like the product, but don't worry about that. They will love it. Using movement.com slash Travis, I'm gonna leave that link down below. An additional 15% and free shipping and free returns. You really can't beat it. Show the person that you love that they mean so much to you. And think outside the box. Don't just get them candy and flowers. Trust me, this will be received much, much better. And you might get, you know, you might get a little lucky. Anyway, we are gonna get back into the food. You know, I've been thinking like I've been in this apartment all day, but people love these types of videos. My most viewed video ever, Eating Like The Rock, did you know over a million views. And it was just me eating in my apartment. So what is it about these videos that you guys like? Please let me know in the comments down below. I'd be interested in the psychology behind it. But until then, let's just eat. As you can see, Alfie is a lot to handle. So I'm gonna try to be as quiet as I can here. But you can see after you put this in the refrigerator, it's just perfect. This is really the only way to actually enjoy plain Greek yogurt. There's not one person in the world that, actually, that eats plain Greek yogurt, it's not possible. So with the yogurt and protein powder, he also has some almonds, which I forgot in the kitchen. I'm gonna have to go grab those. And two oranges, which I haven't had an orange in quite a while. I love oranges. I just, I'm not a big fan of working for my food. Even something like a lobster tail, I'm like, it's not even worth it. By the time you put all that effort into it, no thank you. There's got to be an easier way to do this. Two hours later. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, that was just kind of a pain. But what I really, really do like about his diet is that it has a wide range of fruits. You're getting a lot of different micronutrients. You can see I still have this stuff that I sprayed in my eye. But very healthy, very delicious. If someone would just peel them for me. Before Alfie, I might have been, I might have been able to talk to Megan into doing it for me. But right now, no chance. And just grab the second one. Same thing, rinse and repeat. All right. Look who's awake. How are you doing? Welcome back to life, sir. Last meal of the day is going to be steak and brown rice pasta. He eats bison steak. We couldn't find that at the store, so we chose another lean cut, essentially the same thing. And making steak in the air fryer is an absolute game changer. Makes it so much easier, so much better. Highly recommend it if you've never tried it out. This is the brown rice pasta that we love. So this is gonna be a pretty tasty dinner. All I'm saying is if Megan doesn't husband me up soon, she might miss out on a good opportunity. Look at that, guys. That looks amazing. And before bed, one more protein shake, as you can imagine. I don't think you guys wanna see me drink any more protein, but I don't really mind it too much. Although, Megan brought up a good point. She told me that there's no vegetables in this diet, and it didn't really hit me because I think I was brainwashed by all the fruits, so I thought it was good, but she was correct. I didn't see any vegetables, but he did add greens to his final protein shake. So I guess that's how he's getting them in. Personally, I would prefer to just eat Brussels sprouts or broccoli or something like that. So that is his diet. Very, very wholesome in nutrients for the most part, other than lacking some vegetables. If you're gonna follow any celebrity diet that I've done, that's probably gonna be at the top of my list. Although I don't think many people need to eat 5,000 calories per day. I'm actually feeling pretty decent, but I think it's because I'm thinking about those fat and weird cookies over there. In the article I found, it mentioned he was down for a good cheat day. So now that we've got that out of the way with, of course, I have to share my fat and weird cookies with you guys, and I've already got the air fryer out, which is the best way to reheat a fat and weird cookie. And on tonight's menu, we have the two Valentine's Day cookies that we haven't tried yet, 50 Shades of Red and Bleeding Heart. Gosh. All right, 
Let's just dig right in. I believe this red velvet cookie has a Kit Kat in the middle. Unbelievable. And then this. Oh, it looks like cherry and milk chocolate inside of a dark chocolate cookie. I love Valentine's Day. Those fat and weird cookies are my kryptonite. Only appropriate for this video. And I did add it up. I believe I cleared 300 grams of protein in today's video. Obviously, they're a little bit rough estimations, but whew, we'll see if I pay for that tomorrow. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please drop it a like. I'd really appreciate that. And subscribe to the channel if you are new. You could have been doing anything anything in the entire world and you chose to spend a few minutes with me that is pretty awesome i really do appreciate y'all being here i look forward to talking to you next time